G'day guys! So today you're just going to be getting ready with me, um, getting ready to go out to community college, which I guess is what you in America would call it. So it's just a real quick, simple, easy, get ready with me video. Um, just going to be going through the skincare routine that I do. And yeah, let's get started. So, so far, I've already got a sink filled with warm water and my face washer, flannel, whatever you want to call it in there. Yes, I'm in my bathroom. Please judge away. Go for it. So to start off, I'm going to get my hair out of the way. <laughs> Do you hate it when you get stuck on your nose? I don't know if you can see, but I've actually got quite a few little spots at the moment. Gotta love pimples, hey. So the first thing I use, so I like washing your hair, you double wash your skin. So I use the Body Shop Oils of Life. So I go in with this oil-based cleanser first because it gets rid of all the excess dirt, grime, oils, anything that might be on your face, start with that and then after that I go in with a bit more of a foam cleanser. Out on your hand. And you don't need much, this stuff goes a long way. See that there? Ooh. Don't need to wet your face, don't need to wet your hands, it just goes on like that. I should say as well, this video is not in any way, shape or form sponsored, marketed, promoted, anything like that. Oh my god, this feels so good. This is just purely how I feel about using these products. I'm someone who has grown up with acne, red skin, oiliness my entire life. So I find it very hard to find products even ones meant for oily skin that don't completely ruin your skin by drying it out so much or making it even more oily. Um, I've tried those spot controls, all that sort of thing and half the time I find they give you more spots than getting rid of them so... And then once you moisturise this in, trust me this stuff feels amazing on your skin. Wash it off. Oh, my sinks. Got a bit of a shitty sink. Gotta fill up with water again. Leaks. Got my renting. Also, if you hear that humming noise, we've got one of those bathrooms where when you click on the light, it automatically click, clicks on the fan. So, can't help that, sorry. Just wipe it off. It comes off in like a very milky texture. When you wipe it off, I don't know if you can see on my hand there, it's like all creamy, milky looking. Just very lightly wipe it off, it comes off super easy. Wipe, 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 wipe. Into the eyes, don't forget behind the ears. Open up those pores, remember this is warm water, not open up your pores. And just throw that back in the water there. Okay, now I'm going in with the Bure, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong, Free Your Pores Baking Soda for Combination Skin. Um, I find this works really well with my oily skin, even though it says for combination. I find with my oily skin, it helps a lot to you know, just cut through some of that oil and it doesn't dry it out like crazy like some other ones do. Um, so that's this one. <laughs> just wet your hand a little bit because you've got to foam it up. Just one squirt goes a long way. Sounds so gross. I'm just going to rub that in. Oh my god. And you can feel it 
almost working straight away because I don't know it's not tingling but I feel like you can feel it seeping into your pores it doesn't hurt at all in fact it's quite nice feeling in it it does have a little bit of a scent it kind of smells like those Asian massage places not like the tea tree oil sort of way like the like the just the perfume sort of way Get that teasel. Teasel. And the eyebrows, because God knows you get little pimples in those eyebrows, especially if you're like me and have to constantly colour in, dye, tint eyebrows, otherwise you don't have none. Oh, don't forget your neck. Make it that nice. Mmm, this stuff feels so nice. And it's so affordable. You just get it from like any convenience store, grocery store. I think I paid like eight dollars for it. That's eight dollars Australian. It's like six dollars American. I'm pretty sure you can get it in America. We just go back in with our face washer and just lightly rub it off, being very gentle around the eyes because you don't want to. Stretch the skin. Mm, it smells so good. And it's not like overpowering, like my eyes aren't watering from it, like with some of them. Oh. Hmm. The cleaner already. <laughs> Face wash, quick rinse out. I now, I did exfoliate yesterday, so I'm not going to be exfoliating again today. Um, you shouldn't exfoliate every single day, it's bad for your skin. You should only do it every two to three days. Probably not even that, probably every three to four days actually. Um, I do it about every third day, but you know, your skin up to you, it's your thing. So that's done with the cleansing now, double cleanse. So next thing I'm going to go in with is the toner. Now the toner I use, I've done a lot of research into this because like I said earlier, I have very oily skin. I find toners can be quite harsh on my face because I just get rid of all the oils. I don't want it to get rid of all my oil, I only want to get rid of some of my oil. Um, and for the last two weeks, I've been using a Tude House Red Energy. This is what it looks like. Gorgeous, really elegant little bottle. And it came in the cutest little box as well. Oh, I've got the box here, I'll show you. It's the lid. It came in this box. And it, when I bought it, I bought it with the toner and they call it emulsion, but it's just moisturizer, universal language, just call it moisturizer. But anyway, emulsion and toner are the two new ones that I'm trying and they have been working wonders so far. Also in the little box, it comes with an eye cream. They call it the Tension Up and it works. Not gonna lie, again, this is just my own personal opinion, what I've found since using it. And in two weeks, this is this tiny little thing, this teeny tiny little thing, has done wonders. But they also give you some little travel things to take. So you've got your big bottles and then they've got little, three little travel jars, which they've got a little travel toner. They give you an essence. This thing is amazing. If you don't know what essence is, you know when you put on a face mask and it comes up with all that good stuff that you put on and you leave it on there for 20 minutes? Well this is like a little compact version of it so instead of having to put on the face mask because day to day routine who honestly has like an extra 20 to 30 minutes just sit there and tick tock tick tock sort of thing. So I put that on after my toner before my moisturizer or emulsion and of course they give you a little travel emulsion 
as well. So, as I was saying, go in with our toner. Really cute, just screws off. It has a little bit of a scent. Not much, which I kind of like. I find things that are too, too highly scented tend to give you, give me anyway, like really sore eyes, like make some run. And then I'll grab and watching the Titanic. Um, if you're wondering about the eye patch, that brand honestly I don't think that brand's all that good after I finish this I'm not gonna buy it again because I just find after you put on your toner which is essentially all I use it for after a few little wipes like this it starts breaking apart I don't know if you can see that it's already starting to like fall apart I'm not pushing hard at all I don't know if you can see but I'm barely touching or moving my skin. You can't forget your neck, guys, because when you turn into an old lady or an old man, you don't want like that whole vagina looking neck like. Yeah. So you go in with your toner. Always in the upward motion. actually feels really nice on your skin. Hmm. And a little bit over the ears, why not? Because, you know. Also, I will admit, when I bought the Etude House one, I did get it while it was on special. Um, I think it cost me 20 US dollars, which was about 35 Australian, and then shipping and all that jazz. Um, for what it is so far, I highly recommend it. Um, I think that's a great price for skincare. Would be happy to pay 35 bucks for one, two, three, four, six different products of skincare. Um, and it, it works. It works for me. So if it works for you. Let me know in the comments below. Would be happy to know. If it hasn't, also leave a comment. Um, let me know why it didn't work for you. Um, for those who are a lot younger. It probably isn't as beneficial for you. With a little bit older skin, you tend to get wrinkles, laugh lines, all that sort of fun stuff. The younger guys, who I envy, you still got youthful skin. You probably don't need as much of the tightening and the firming and all those sort of agents that come with it. But, you know, you never know. Never start too young, I guess. Um, so, we're gonna go in with the Essence now. Tuna. Ooh, don't you have any to find what it is? So going with the power lifting essence. Like I said, no one in your normal day-to-day -day routine has time to sit there 30 minutes and wear a mask. Seriously? So ooh, one, two, three. Honestly, three little squirts is all you need. You can see it's nice and thick, but it still has some run to it. It's not sticky at all, but you can see there is like a glue sort of like consistency to it but when you put it on your skin oh my god it's so soft like it just glides on it's not gooey or slimy I'm just gonna rub it and warm it up in my hands because you should always warm it up a little bit that way your skin soaks it in better mm. oh this one does have a little bit of a scent to it but again, it's not harsh, it's not overpowering. Mm. For those of you wondering, yes, my hair is a little green at the moment. It was blue and I'm getting it redone on the 16th. Where we all blue again, which I'm very excited for. I've never been fully blue before. As you can see, this is more just like an ombre sort of blue sort of thing. Um, but it's going to be all blue. Um, I'm pumped for it. Oh. So we're just going to give that a second to set. And then we're going to go in with our emulsion or moisturizer. The leftover stuff, you can either just rub it into your hands because it is good for your skin. Or a bit of water, it just comes straight off. Up. For this purpose, I'm just going to wash it off. My hands, though. Towel. 
Do you guys do that? Do you have one towel for your hair, one towel for your body sort of thing? I do. I have a lot of hair, like a lot of hair here. <laughs> so I've got one for that and one for my body because what's the point on the one you use for your body putting on your head when it's already soaked from your body or vice versa, your hair soaks the towel and you go to dry your body with a wet towel? Like, hmm. So that's all dried in now. Mm, feels so soft. If you can see that. Oh, so smooth already. There's like a nice shine to it. Little ears. Okie dokie. Now, before I go in with the emulsion, I am first going to go in with a little bit of this eye cream. Tiniest amount, honest to God, this thing. Like, I'm not even kidding, like the smallest amount. Like, and then just dab it on. Oh, that's a bit much. Dun 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 dun. Close this up. guys ever accidentally poke yourself in the eye when you do this? Like nine times, well not nine times, like eight times out of ten I accidentally get a bit too close to that under section like Ow! I'm going to show you guys today though, I won't poke myself in the eye I promise. A little bit on the top of the eyelid as well because I don't know if you see older people who haven't taken care of their skin they get like the saggy eyelids. I don't want that. I'm still youthful. <laughs> I don't want to look like I'm an old lady before I am. So I just that just naturally soaks in and if your eyes are anything like mine, they get dark circles, you've got laugh lines already because you've got a very expressionative face like I do, it's gonna soak it in pretty quick. With the dark circles, that's just a genetic thing. I come from a European background. We've got dark eyes. Not anything you can deal with. There are ways of lightening it a little bit naturally that aren't harmful, but you still got a dark area there. Like most people generally do. Just some are more prominent than others. Okay, going in with the emotion now. Yay! Red energy. This one again. You can see. Blah. It's not, I wouldn't call it watery, but it's definitely not thick. And I think that's what I like about it. So, because it's not overly thick, it does absorb into your skin. A little bit quicker I find than some of the other brands that I've used in the past like Olay for example I have used Olay in the past because you know it was easy to get um, just from your general convenience store and it takes forever to soak in has anyone else had that problem like with Olay or any other brand like they just take so long it's supposed to be like a daily moisturizer and it takes well over an hour for it to soak in and then if it's a hot day you get all like sweaty you feel gross and you get slimy you're like Ugh. you know what I mean I'll put this on always go up with the neck up now I can already feel it's setting soaking in I shouldn't say setting soaking in already now the next thing I do because remember we're going Outside, I'm gonna go to community college today. I've got things to do, things to study. I am gonna go in with some SPF. Now, you guys probably can't tell from this angle, but last year I had seven moles cut out of my face because they did have the possibility of turning into things we didn't really want them to turn into. So I had one cut out there, two cut out there, two cut out there, two cut out there. Um, I had stitches, oh, bright blue, it was pretty cool. No, blue isn't my favourite colour, purple actually is, but I do love blue. Um, and yeah, I had stitches in my face for like over a month, 
I can't remember exactly how long, but it was quite a while and it was quite painful as well. Um, and the one that was next to my nose and on my neck, they were quite prominent moles, like they were lumpy. They weren't hairy, but they were very lumpy. Um, so after that, I've been a little obsessed with making sure I have SPF on me at all times. Now I've tried many different sunblocks, mostly for that reason, because I don't want any of my other moles that are remaining, um, you know, to have to be cut out because that was not a fun experience. Um, these, this is a new one I've picked up from a Tude House when I got the skincare, because I have heard that Asian, um, more specifically Japanese and South Korean, have a very good, good formula when it comes to SPF. Unlike ones like Banana Boat or the Skin Cancer Council or anything like that, I find them so oily, they make your eyes water, they sting, and if you sweat and it gets into your eyes, all hell breaks loose, like, oh my god. Um, so yeah, I've been using this one for about two weeks now with my other one. I do find it very runny. Um, it does still smell like sunblock too, I hate that smell. I don't know if you guys enjoy it or not, but at least it's not as oily as the other ones. And if you are a little bit sweaty and it does feel like you're going a little bit slimy, it doesn't hurt your eyes, which was a big thing for me. So I have a bit sensitive eyes. <laughs> okay, you can rub the rest into your arms because again, it's just SPF. <laughs> Gonna let that set for a second, and then we're gonna go in with some BB cream, you know, even out that tone. BB cream I use, I've got two here, and honestly, I'm not very happy with either of them. You can tell I'm quite tan, um, always have been. And the two that I got, one I got while I was in Japan last year, and the other one I got the other day on Yes Style, which is an Asian uh, app you can download. It's got so many amazing things, don't let it tell you. But I just find a lot of the tinted skincare doesn't go dark enough. Like I'm not that dark, but I do have a tan and it's very light. Like I look goosely. But it's what I got. So I don't mind putting just a tiny bit under my eyes and just blending that out. Although one good thing, like really good thing I can say about this baby face, silky BB. This is what it looks like. So cute. I mean, come on. Look at it. It works great as a primer, like for under your makeup. I, or highlighter, concealer, contouring, oh my god, this works well as like the lighter part of all that. Just gonna rub this in under my dark eyes because the girl's got super dark eyes. I don't know if you can see that, but instantly, bright eyed. <laughs> And I'm going to go in with my Japanese one, which I'm always down with, but I can't seem to find it online. A little bit on my finger. And this one's a lot darker than that one, but it's still too light for my skin. Um, I'm going to go in now and just cover a few of these spots. me I only get spots the week leading in to when Aunt Flo comes to visit. If you don't know who Aunt Flo is you're obviously too young um, or you're not a woman. And it's such a pain in the ass I swear to god. Because I feel like everyone knows when you're on it or about to go on it then because it happens at the same time every month. 
leading in to that bullshit. Now just to fix it all up, I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of waterproof mascara. Again, I'm not sponsored, just my own personal comment on these brands that so far they're right. This mascara isn't the best but it's the only waterproof one I've got at the moment. I really need to go shopping and like update things. I'm a bit hesitant about buying mascaras online because yeah I've seen some of the things when like people get them online that come from China and then like people's eyes swell up and they get infections and so anyway, I know this is Remmel London. I know it's a very good brand. I just don't particularly like this version of it. So this is a scandalized waterproof mascara volumizing lash. just so you can see that I have eyelashes because again I have very light hair I dye my eyebrows and color them in I normally tint my eyelashes as well um, I haven't got it done recently though because I've been so busy so I'm just gonna put this on in the mirror you guys should get ready with me more often since this is here I haven't poked myself in the eye once. So like, that's a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> Do you guys pull a face when you put mascara on? I always notice that when I'm in the mirror, I'm putting it on and I'm always like, on the top lashes because I find if it is a hot day like in Australia at the moment we've just finished summer but there's still quite hot days especially in South Australia where I am now you're probably thinking South Australia that's so far south well, no it's actually still very hot last week we had like 47 degree days for like a week 47 degrees Celsius I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but I'm pretty sure it's like 120 maybe that sounds a bit high Maybe like 110. I don't know. Convert it if you want. But 47 degrees Celsius for like a week. And it wasn't the only week in summer that we had that. It was horrendous. Okay, essentially, that is it. Done. I don't go all out when I go to college. Because what I study mostly guys in my class actually no it's all guys in my class is me and one other girl and that's it so yeah so guys that's it I literally am finished simple as that used one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve products <laughs> talk about the ten step care routine well, I just use twelve but that's including like the makeup side of it as well so really only eight products of skincare everything else was makeup so whether you want to include that or not is up to you oh god i can't wait to get my hair redone if you like this video and you thought it was useful helpful with anything that i've shown you please leave a comment down below give it a thumbs up don't forget to rate and subscribe i will be posting more if you haven't already check out my Instagram. At the moment it's mostly got food things on there because I love cooking. Go have a look for Darcy Delights, my channel Darcy Delights, also on Twitter and there's a Facebook page. Bye guys! <laughs>